truth is, the game was rigged from the start. All right, welcome back to Honored Madman. And today we're not uh, talking about lore. We're going to be talking about some leaks that did, in fact, come out over a month ago, maybe even two months ago. But the leaks are regarding the new Fallout TV series that's coming out based on the video game series, of course, created originally by Black Isle Studios and eventually bought by Bethesda, who made Fallout 3 and 4. Fallout New Vegas was also made, but that was done by Obsidian, who are basically, or were, the remnants of Black Isle. I don't think too many of those guys are still around at Obsidian, but I'm sure there's a few. Anyways, I'm a pretty big fan of the Fallout series. It's one of my favorite out there. Something about the setting and the unique style of humor that the games use, it's just a very fun world to explore and play around in in the games. And a lot of the lore is interesting. I mean, you learn a lot through reading terminal entries and notes, which is a lot like Dark Souls through reading, you know, item descriptions and whatnot. Sure, there's a lot more dialogue in the Fallout games, but that's something I've always enjoyed is, uh, putting together the pieces of the past, you know, gathering items of interest and forming a story and all that. The very cool stuff, but we're not here to talk about any of that. We're here to talk about that leaked trailer. The first real look we've had at the Fallout series besides the random leaked set images we've gotten throughout the past couple months. Now, it's not really super long and we don't really see all that much, but I think it's worth talking about it. It's probably going to be a short video though. And I can't really show it for presumably obvious reasons because it's leaked footage and honestly the quality of the leaked footage, it's not really good. It's kind of uh, hard to see and kind of not something I want to put on my channel. I'd rather just put gameplay of the Fallout games. Now this series comes from Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy. Jonathan Nolan is known for uh, writing stuff like Interstellar and uh, I think Inception. A lot of uh, Christopher Nolan's movies, uh, they're brothers. And Lisa Joy was his uh, co-showrunner on the show Westworld, which I still haven't gotten the chance to see, but that's because I can't find it on any streaming services. Now, I think this show has a lot of potential, but let's get uh, enough preamble. Let's start talking about the leaks. Now, I think the most important part about the leak was that we finally got to see Walton Goggins' ghoulish character for the first time. Now, he's one of our generation's greatest actors. I'm convinced. I'm sold. No one can really tell me otherwise. So if you're a fan of his, you'll probably be watching this regardless of whether you know anything about Fallout or not. Now, he is playing a ghoul, and it looks as though from the little leaked clip that we did see, he's like a Western-style ghoul, which is very cool. We saw a Colonial-style ghoul in Fallout 4. We've only had a few Western cowboy-style ones, like there's a one female one in New Vegas, and there's a couple others, but we don't really see a lot of them. But anyway, the design of his ghoulish features... They look very much like they're more along the lines of Fallout 4's sentient ghouls, as it uh, looks just like severe burns, sort of like a Wade Wilson style look. Whereas in all previous games, the non-feral ghouls sort of just had rotting flesh, they were missing chunks of their uh, meat and their bone, it was casually visible in some of the parts of their face or arms. You get, you get the idea, they're rotting corpses kept alive by the radiation, you know, that they've intaken. So they have lesions and their skin fell off and in Fallout 4 they just sort of like I said look like Wade Wilson. Now I think that's fine and I understand why they probably went with this uh, sort of look for the non-feral ghouls in the show. You can't really express that much emotion with you know a face that's missing chunks of its cheeks and you know part of its whole lips. It's you know it's generally just uh, they're horrific to look at. Now he is still missing his nose entirely so that's also something that the uh Fallout 4 ghouls had in common with all the other ghouls is that they were all missing their nose. Generally, they also had black eyes in Fallout 4. I don't know how they look in Fallout 76, never really played it. But I, I do get why they're going for this style of uh, non-feral ghoul. I imagine the feral ghouls will probably have more of the Fallout 4 appearance as well in that they'll come in various uh, shapes and sizes. You know, bloating ones, shriveled ones, burnt ones, rotted ones, glowing ones, undoubtedly. But anyways, though, Goggins is looking slick. He's wearing what appears to be the Merc Adventurer outfit with maybe a duster. Perhaps he's a former ranger. We know the NCR did have a bunch of ghoulish elite veteran rangers. And as far as I could tell, the show is set in California. I believe LA to be exact, so there's that. We don't know exactly when it's set. I mean, this could be set way earlier in the timeline than we've seen before. Or I guess not now counting that Fallout 76 is a thing. This could be a lot earlier on, or it could be along the lines of uh, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 and New Vegas' timeline. Maybe in the 2280s or 90s. It also looks like uh, Goggins is standing in the middle of a megaton-style town while either a firefight is going on 
around or explosions are being set off. Either way, it appears he's just walking along casually admiring the chaos with a grin on his face. I think uh, he's going to be a pretty cool character. Now we also see several small little uh, nuclear explosions in the trailer. Now some people have been like, you know, those are the smallest nuclear explosions I've ever seen. But I think it's possible those could be coming from a fat man. You know, those could be literally mini nukes. Or maybe they just carry the same payload as those uh, nuclear footballs that Liberty Prime likes to spiral at people. I mean, we know everything in the Fallout universe, everything is fucking nuclear powered basically. They never really stopped experimenting with it. Also, while we're on the topic of this, it's not really related to the leaks, but I do predict that we will see the uh, nuking of the world in Fallout, presumably through the eyes of a pre ghoulified Walton Goggins. Or at least, I hope so. We also see some vertebrates. I don't know if they're uh, military pre-war ones or perhaps Brotherhood of Steel ones. We see a couple guys in the vertebrate. I still can't really tell if... Uh, you know, their army or Brotherhood of Steel. And that scene is followed by a group of power armored soldiers walking like reservoir dogs. Again, I can't see the uh, markings on the pauldron of their armor, so they could either be army or Brotherhood or just a group of guys wearing power armor. The shot is also kind of far away, so I can't really say how good they look, but they look sort of like they looked in the uh, sort of live action opening cinematic thing they had for Fallout 4. Or was it like a mix of live action and CGI? I can't really remember. I mean, obviously CGI, but you get my drift. Now, we also get a couple shots of a vault and a vault door being open to the uh, classic blinding light that we've seen in every game. Now it looks as though Ella Purnell's character will be playing the vault dweller who's setting off on her own into the wasteland, sort of like a protagonist style character. Goggins will probably be a companion slash follower that she picks up along the way, or maybe he'll be a protagonist whose story we follow and eventually he crosses path with uh, Ella Purnell's vault dweller character. Now, I think she's a really great actress. She was uh, Jackie in Yellow Jackets uh, both seasons. She played, uh, well, I won't spoil anything, but she played a character that I didn't really like very much, but she did a great job playing her. I fully believed that that's who she was, and I eventually found out she was British. That also blew me away because I fully believed she was like an American teenager, you know. She played the part great. So I'm sure she'll be good in this. I have uh, little doubt that she'll kill this role. Now, I'm also sure that we'll see uh, little bits of the sinister side of vault Tech. It'll probably be sprinkled to us in the uh, guise of how, you know, upbeat and good they are claiming to be for humanity. Or at least I hope it's something that they slowly build up as this sinister thing that went on. Because again, that's some of the most fun I had in the uh, Fallout games is exploring the old abandoned vaults and learning their stories through these terminal entries and, you know, journal entries that you find and notes. Hollow tapes. I mean, most buildings have a story to tell in Fallout. Most locations do. But generally, outside of like the, uh, you know, the Dunwich horror stuff, which isn't really like that scary or unnerving, it's just a nice little Lovecraftian reference. The best, darkest, and most sinister stories are the product of vault tech experiments found throughout these various abandoned vaults that we find in the games. You know, every vault had a purpose. There was, I believe, 20 control vaults that were designed and, uh, you know, they were they functioned exactly like they were claiming they did or like they were supposed to. You know, they were the vaults to cover up all the vaults that weren't control vaults and were housing all these crazy experiments like FEV, these crazy behavioral studies that pitted one group of the vault dwellers against the others, and they one they stocked with an armory. I'm probably rambling because it's all... It's not super fresh in my head. I'm in the midst of beginning a playthrough of all these games. But it's something I really want to cover. And I know I always talk about that I'm going to get to my Fallout videos. But the main reason why is that, you know, I'm playing too many different games. And uh, to really cover Fallout, I need to explore all these locations again. And read all these little uh, item descriptions. Or not really item descriptions, but terminal entries myself, you know. And I'm in the process of doing that. It's just I'm playing all three at once, so it's taking longer than expected. Now, as for the rest of the cast, it looks pretty solid. I saw that Kyle MacLachlan is in this, and he's great. He's one of the classic 80s villains. I mean, I know he played uh, Paul Atreides in the old Dune movie, but I always think of the bad guy he played in the Simpsons live action. Or uh, even more hilariously, uh, his role in Showgirls. But I think it's safe to say he'll probably be playing like some crooked town leader or just a shady guy. Maybe Mayor of Diamond City type guy who's, you know, like more blatantly corrupt and shady. The rest of the cast looks solid too. I mean, I saw that uh, Ben Linus from Lost, one of the uh, better characters of uh, the past few decades of TV. And that's saying something. I mean, I really uh, hated Ben at first, but I really grew to like him in the end. And he, he did nothing but drive the plot forward and be a good character. 
He definitely wasn't my favorite. That was obviously Sawyer or Saeed, but the show really wouldn't have been lost without him. So it'll be interesting to see what type of role he plays. I mean, I'm almost certain he'll be also sinister, probably way more sinister than uh, Kyle MacLachlan's character. Or they could have him play a good guy from the start. You know, it really could go either way. I also saw that uh, Dale Dickey, who I always remember as the hooker from My Name is Earl, is also in this. And I think that there's no one more fitting to be in the uh, Fallout universe than her. But yeah, I think the show looks really good. I mean, I think it probably might turn out better than The Last of Us one, which wasn't bad. It was a very solid show. I just wish there would have been a little bit more zombies in it since it's, you know, a zombie game. And that's not something I'm going to complain about for Fallout because Fallout isn't just about feral ghouls. So I don't know. At the risk of rambling on and on, I'm going to have our outro and then we'll get to our final thoughts. But yeah, I definitely think that that show looks uh, pretty solid just from that really uh, not so great quality trailer I saw. But my next video will probably be about another uh, post-apocalyptic series because I could do these ones a little bit quicker than the lore ones. But a pretty good lore one is coming. Anyway though, the next video will probably be about The, uh, the Walking Dead Redemption, Daryl Dixon. A show that I really enjoyed. I know that most people like to hate on The Walking Dead, especially like the later seasons. And look, I'd be inclined to agree with you if I didn't enjoy uh, season 10 so much. That was a pretty solid season of television, in my opinion, at least for like a zombie show. And look, maybe my bar was set low because of Game of Thrones is uh, last like four seasons being so bad. But I think the main reason why I'm like, I enjoy The Walking Dead so much as a series is that I watched uh, The Hundred before I watched The Walking Dead, and that'll make The Walking Dead look like The Sopranos or Breaking Bad in comparison to uh, a show like that. And honestly, The Walking Dead never reached any of the lowest lows of those Game of Thrones later seasons. And in fact, I would go so far as to say that The Walking Dead had more good seasons than Game of Thrones. I'm not saying the writing was always better. But especially towards the later seasons, I would objectively say that The Walking Dead's writing was better than Game of Thrones' later seasons. Again, that's just my opinion. I also really enjoy the comics, so there's that. I mean, I also really enjoy A Song of Ice and Fire's books. But, you know, who knows uh, if those will ever get finished. Anyway, though, my next lore video, it'll probably either, like I said, be about the Corvians, or maybe it'll be this uh, mystery lore video I've been working on. But I'll stop rambling and get back to work. I will see you guys next time. Be safe and uh, see ya.